Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Kate, it is a pleasure for you. We get so excited when a new Marvel show comes out and now Loki finally has his day. When you have a character like him who kind of plays in the gray, if he does something good, it's like, eh, it was self-serving. If he does something bad, it's like, well, what did you expect? Are there additional layers of who he is that we can explore? Not exactly what they are, but does he have other layers beyond what we know Loki to be? I think definitely. I I mean, that's kind of really for me, like the core question and theme of the show is like, you know, within Loki, it's like, like you said, is anyone truly good or truly bad? And are we always going to be defined by our past actions or can we have growth and move past those? And I, I think the, even beyond Loki, I feel like as a person, that's something that I find very interesting. And, and it does echo out, I'd say across our whole show of all our characters. And I think the joy of him, right, is that we have this Loki from Avengers. So he's in a very different emotional space to the Loki that we all loved and watched, you know, change over the 10 years. And it was a real challenge and excitement, I think, to take that character from much earlier in his journey and put him into a completely new environment and just the nature nurture aspect and see, okay, well, we think we have a handle on this guy. We saw kind of where he went after Avengers, but actually, no, he's in the new place now. He's in the TVA and how is this, you know, chaotic character going to survive in this bureaucracy? So, yeah, I think it was, it, I definitely say that we're taking Loki to very new places. By seeing him in the TVA, it gives a series, at least from what we've seen so far as before our interviews here, just the tone of it is very different in that WandaVision was very colorful and bright and, and then Falcon was very home-centered and we learned about his origins but here we're kind of in the ship in the tva headquarters where a lot of things go on is that to say the tone of it will continue along that path or are there splashes of colors that will that he can come become involved with i would say like we have like so working with my team like autumn my dp and kazra my production designer you know, we wanted this show to be visually spectacular. And I think, you know, as you can see in the first episode, we're within the TVA and that has a very specific look to it. And me and Autumn were really inspired by like film noir and detective stories. And I think that definitely lent itself to the lighting and how we've approached the shooting style of the show. But I would say like, yeah, I mean, people have seen in the trailers, there's definitely hints of places where he'll go where <laughs> there's going to be some definitely new looks and designs and I think that was the really exciting thing for me was that particularly within the TVA is like, it's this whole new corner of the MCU and like the MCU's, you know, we've been to lots of far off places. So I, I really wanted to kind of give it its own style and I guess mood. So, you know, hopefully in the future other shows or stories go there, you know, we'll be like, oh, it's the TVA. So yeah, so it was really exciting get to, getting to set that up. Awesome. And lastly, as you wait for your show to debut, we've had the others. Do you watch the others with a discerning eye? Like, hmm, okay, this is how this can feed into mine. Or do you watch it strictly as a fan? Like, wow, that's really, really dope. How does your eye watch the other okay. stuff? I think honestly, like I was watching them as a fan because I didn't know anything about the other shows. And for me, like they were so different to our show. I just was excited to see like what they were doing, honestly, story-wise and where they were taking those characters. Cause you know, Marvel are very secretive, even when you work for Marvel. <laughs> so it's like, I obviously know what's going on with our story, but I didn't know what the plans were within, you know, those two shows. So no, I, I just watched them with happiness and excitement for where they took the characters. And yeah, and I look forward to watching more. <laughs> so, it's yeah. awesome. It's awesome and epic. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your Thank time, you. Kate. This is a cool show and I'm anxious to see where it goes. Thank you. Oh, again. cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Michael, you look like somebody I went to high school with. A whole nother side note. Wow. Well, I think you, you look very familiar. I thank you for your time today. Another fantastic series and an opportunity for us to get to lo know Loki a little more. We've seen him kind of play in the gray over the years where if he does something good, it's like, uh, he's self-serving. If he does something bad, it's, uh, what do you expect? 
Are there other layers to the onion to Loki, to who he is that we can sort of unpack over the course of the, these episodes? I hope so. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> that that was our that was our goal was to was to find that you know there's there has been uh, ten years of movies featuring this character and I and I think that it was our our charge to figure out okay what's what's new story left to be told with Loki and and I think part of how you accomplish that is you force him to look inward is you is you make Loki now that he's center stage ask himself. Well, it, why is that why people react when I do something good or why I, when I, that's why people react that way when I do something bad. Uh, that's what great TV is to me is kind of holding up a mirror to your characters and making them self assess. And so that's what we were excited about with this. Is it a tricky journey when you have a character who, who is that way to to, to build them out and take them on a new course. How is it, how, challenge, how does it challenge you as a writer in particular to build out such a distinct character like this? Yeah, totally. You, you have to become a student of everything that's come before with that character and, and probably in the broader MCU as well. And then it's just, it's identifying, you know, what, what would I be the most excited and the most surprised to see? Uh, as the next evolution of this journey while still being satisfied, while it not selling out what I love about this character. And so that's, you know, you're, you're putting yourself in the shoes of the audience to some extent, and at the same time, you're trusting your own instincts as a creator and you, you pick a direction, you trust your, your other writers and your producers and you just, you run with it. Mm -hmm. In the little bit we've been lucky enough to see, it has a very different tone than the other series in that a jokester is kind of thrust into a very serious situation. Is that a consistent tone that you need a serious tone to tell a funny guy story or a jesterish type of story? I think that's, that's probably a, as much a testament to Tom as it is anything and that he's just so funny and charming as that character that even if I don't write a line that's necessarily a joke, he's going to make it funny. He's going to deliver it in a way that makes you smile. Because I do think that's one of Loki's defense mechanisms. In the absence of magic powers at the TVA, he's going to deflect with humor and sarcasm and wit. And so that becomes part of his dramatic story. Um, and we, all, we always felt that we wanted this to be a serious story. We wanted it be, to be dramatic, to have real dramatic stakes to it and everything. And I think that's part of why it works. And, you know, Kate did a great job working with the actors and just rendering the show in that way. Absolutely. Well, I'm super excited to see the rest of it. This is a favorite character of mine and I know this will be a great journey for him. Thank you for your time. Thanks so much. Take care. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.